tears stream down his face. He hates his place. The indifferent mother who never showed him any love. And father too drunk to ever give him a hug. He just wants to escape from the abuse. But he knows it's no use. They'll just find him. They always did. Fifteen years and he's drowning his sorrows. Smoking weed, drinking cheap liquor out of the bottle. Risking his life without a care. That they're crimes. Passing time with a bunch of fake friends. Just trying to fit in. Despite the cuts that show, it's not working. He's showing up late, but he makes it to class. Just to stare out the window and clock out in the back. And daydream away to a sky so gray. Across a few seats, brown eyes watch him. The only one who notices the receipt. The boy missed the first hour just to catch a bite to eat. She hums to herself but looks away. She may be the only one who saw who he was. This story that I broke his head Eighteen years old and he's finally on his own. Broken and beaten with scars as reminders. He's just trying to find his path. But letter after letter just tell him of his failures. He's almost given up when one catches his eye. He knows it's not much. But it's his first sign of hope. He doesn't expect much when he walks through the doors. His headphones in as he keeps his head to the floor. His lack of attention sends him flying to the ground. He even meets Brown and a bubbly laugh sends his heart beating. Maybe this moment made his heart worth beating. This is a story about a quiet girl with her headphones on and surveying the world. She knows it gets better, even though she walks this world. Brown eyes smile as she scrambles to stand. She moves gently, trying to lend out a hand to the boy who once sat in the corner that always appeared trapped in the shadows of disorder. She always wondered who threw his chance away, but she could never ask to her dismay because he was gone before she could work up the courage. She sees the fear of rejection in his eyes. Her palms are shaking, but she holds her disguise. Whispers of truth gathered across her pale skin Despite the fears in her mind, he takes her hand, and that's where their story begins. A few months have passed, and the days seem brighter. She was surprised when he first told her he liked her. She knew that intimacy could be more than he could bear. But she still wanted to show him that someone could care. So she tentatively agreed. A decision neither of them would ever succeed. This is a story about a broken boy with his headphones in just a block at the noise. Wondering if it gets better as he walks the world alone. I stare across an open ocean. His mind a storm of thoughts as the fierce waves cause commotion. Is it normal to feel like you're breaking? Is it possible to keep him deep down? Will his heart ever heal completely? Will anyone ever love this being for who he is? Can someone pick up the pieces before they're shattered more? As these questions run through his mind, he steps back and his eyes go blind. The sound of wishing air the only thing to find, and then it stops. This is so bad. His body dolts upwards and sweat presses his face. Another sleepless night, much to his distaste. Light beams through the window into his room, and then a doorbell rings amongst the gloom. He takes a moment to blink away the nightmares, his mind giving him no time to react as he takes off to the stairs. And he runs, past the broken door barely hanging on its hinges. 
Half the fish-shaped holes that once barely missed thanks to his cringes. Past the sleeping drunk that is his father who infringes. Past the zoned-out mother surrounded by syringes. He throws the door open and wraps his arms around his chosen. And the room shifts. Memory after memory shared with the girl before him lifts. Pieces of a puzzle falling into place. A life he's made despite his once lost faith. The woman laughs gently as she pulls away from his embrace. Missing much? I just forgot my keys on the fireplace. This is the story of an abandoned boy. His head falls down. No longer walking, I can know it. Got lost a few times trying to find a way home. But now he doesn't walk no more. Now he walks.